everybody. My name is Sasha. I'm from Naturkultur. And welcome to our art exhibition that is part of our youth exchange, Art for Youth. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining. First, to all of our participants that were creating uh, their artworks and the pieces that you'll be seeing today, but also to everybody who will be joining us and watching these videos on YouTube, Facebook. Uh, art for Youth was a youth exchange that is lasting 10 days. Uh, it's, it was done completely on Zoom, so online. And this is the first time that we'll be doing online exhibition on Zoom. So we hope that all of you are going to be enjoying it. Uh, participants were working very hard for the last seven days and they did really, really great things. So hope you will all enjoy it. The first of our art artists is going to be Alexandra from Greece that prepared for us a poem about old age and isolation. The name of the poem is The Years Go By. So I'm going to give the word to Alexandra and enjoy. Thank you. The years come by. And yes, the years come by and then they pass by your own life slides. You feel like you're not old, but your reflections say that you lie. Your hands, they feel so messed, the wrinkles are remorselessly there. But yet, the eyeballs hide a life full of adventures in them. The food you still prepare is not for one, but for a dozen. The house never in mess, but this is not what you desire for. And then, a long well-being, and not will come there and disturb you. Your heart is really loud and makes a silent go away too. While you are trying to move and just approach the wooden dark door, right there is where you feel no more alone but loved and cared for. In you, where empty space used to remain stuck and determined, a laugh and inner smile, a joyful bliss comes and reminds you that you are not alone not even old or maybe rotten and there just for a while you know for sure you're not forgotten thank you thank you very much alexandra it was really really beautiful uh, you will see we will have a lot of different types of art so this is a poem we're going to have also some canva posters that some of the participants were making photography and even uh, some uh, small music sessions. So hope you will stay with us and you will check everything that participants were doing during the last few days. So after Alexandra, we are going to continue with another poem, but this time it's a cooperation between Monica and Migla from Lithuania. So we are going to have a poem and also some Canva posters about social media addiction. Monica, Migla, the stage is yours. So, so here we go. And we decided to do some posters and create uh, polyam. So I show my uh, posters and then Migla uh, read the poem. And the uh, topic and the name for this posters is uh, the social media addiction, because we think it's really important topic in these days from documents and how young, young people problem. So Migla? I have a headache, but I can't retreat. I hide a lot of friends behind the glass screen. I crave more attention than a cup of morning coffee. Collecting as many reactions as possible is my trophy. I became addicted to you. Social media, I love you. I feel like I cannot escape. I don't even know what is my real face. Thank you, Monica and Migle, for uh, sharing your opinions about a very important topic, and this is social media addiction. Unfortunately, in today's world with pandemic, a lot of us are spending a lot of time in, in front of computers, but uh, definitely important topic to talk about. So after our combination between Monica and Migle, we are going to have a few posters that are prepared by some of them individual participants and some of them in the groups. The first one is going to be Petra from Croatia. 
uh, that uh, created a Canva poster about anxiety and the importance of mental health. The name of the Canva poster is There's No Health Without Mental Health. So let's give a word to Petra that is going to share a bit about her work. Thank you, Sasha. So this is my poster, as Sasha said, I chose to talk about mental health because I believe it's very important, especially now in uh, pandemic times, and also to talk about anxiety and to educate general public about uh, some symptoms of, uh, of anxiety. Thank you, Petra, very much. We are going to stay in the same in the same art type. So we are going to continue with the Canva posters. The next one is Dorotea from Croatia that created a poster about fair trade Fortnite. The name is Buy Fair, Be Fair. Dorotea, the stage Thank is yours. You, Uh, so I created uh, this poster to support the event Fair Trade Fortnite that's been held uh, this year from 22nd February to, until 3rd of March. The aim of this event is to uh, promote fair trade and to share stories about people who are uh, producing our food and drinks such as chocolate, coffee, bananas and so on. Uh, so on this poster, I put some information which are important to know and uh, to motivate people to support fair trade. So did you know that uh, three out of four people living in rural areas in developing countries live on less than $1 per day? Another important fact is that price volatility of commodities such as coffee and cocoa is directly linked to poverty. But the poverty cycle can be broken when farmers receive a sustainable income and support for their communities. Uh, so we can support them by buying fair trade and products uh, for which we know where they come from. And another important message this year that uh, climate change is uh, having a big impact on them. So it's a, also another thing uh, this event wants to raise awareness of. Uh, that's all from me. Thank you, Dorotea. And Dorotea showed us that being artist and being a youth activist doesn't just mean creating something completely by yourself, but you can also join a goal in which you believe and you support, and then you can make your addition there. So thank you again, Dorotea. Thank you about mentioning poverty, which is a very big problem in the world. We will have another poem a bit later about poverty, but now we are going to continue with uh, one more Canva, which is created by Lorena, Croatian, that is now living in Italy, and it's Canva poster about environmental protection. The name is Planet Earth equals our home. So uh, I made a poster in a form of a meme, and my topic is environmental awareness, specifically the prevention of plastic pollution. And the process how I've done it is first I took the bag with other bags that we have in our house and I spread them all over the living room. And then I took a photo. And I'm also lucky that many bags that we have are green. So I could just make the entire photo black and white and leave only the green color visible, which is the color of nature and life and renewal. And finally, I edited the photo in Photoshop and added the text in the green frame, which is more or less the same color as the plastic bags. And that's all from me. Thank you, Lorena. Very, very nice. I see a lot of clapping in the chat or in the small videos of people. And now we are going to come to the last part of the first part of our event, let's say like that. And this is going to be six Canva posters about consumerism and the fact it has an environment. So we are still staying in the same topic of environment, but also consumerism. The name of the posters is Make the Difference. And it's a cooperation between Alessandra from Italy, Eilid, German participants from Scotland, Katerina that is 
Greek one, but also living in Germany, and Nicoletta from Greece. Thank you, Sasha. Let me just share my screen. Um, so we decided to look at consumerism and in particular the, um, the impact it has on the environment. Um, also in particular looking at the fashion industry. Um, we sort of envision this also as a series of Instagram posts. So it would be one post with six slides. Um, so the first one says what you do makes a difference. You are a consumer, you as a consumer are the main player of clothing pollution. We tried also to follow a similar color pattern. So all the posts have orange featured in them as well as um, a circle shape in all of them. So this would be the second post. Um, the third one here. And each of them also contains um, facts about the fashion industry and its impact on the environment. And we wanted to have one last one with the question, how can you help the environment um, to leave viewers with a question of what they can do as well? So yeah, that's our posts. Thank you, Elit, and thank you to the whole team. Uh, very nice. As you can see, environment is one of the topics that our participants were very passionate about. Uh, before we go to the second part, I just wanted to share a few more things about our project in general. So we had in total 50 participants coming from seven European countries, from Spain, Italy, Greece, Romania, Lithuania, Croatia, and Germany that were cooperating in these last 10 days and showing that even pandemic cannot stop us for creating something meaningful and something that, that can make a change in the society. I'm going to give the word now to Tania from Greece that created a poem about poverty and the name of the poem is Neighborhood. Hello. In the small neighborhood today I woke up on a bed it's not a dream. Tomorrow, I don't know if I will sleep in cold or heat. That's why I want to dream when I'm awake. That's why I want to smile. Even if I hurt, it is bad the feeling when the snow and the rain cover your body, when people throw trust on you without respecting your story. Who am I today, dear life? I feel dead again and again. Someone, please give me a blanket to warm my brain. Begging every day for food and money, People are passing me so fast. Life, why don't you treat me better? I don't wanna leave others past. I don't like cold, even the warm. I don't like begging or sleeping in the storm. I want to hug a house, a bed. Someone who loves me, who respects me. Someone who'll give me a hand to help me. Thank you. Thank you, Tanya, very nice. Uh, we have another poem that is created by Natalia from Spain. It's a poem about women's situation and freedom. The name is Quero Ser, or in English, I want to be. Thank you, Sasha. I want to be the hands of those women who have their own, their own ones busy, stealing for a paltry salary the clothes we are all wearing. I want to be the voice of those women who have lost their own ones crying for the children snatched by the hunger. I want to be the body of those women who someone has been stolen to use them as a weapon in a war. I want to be the shoulders of those women who have destroyed their own ones working from dusk to dawn to maintain their families. I want to be the innocence of those girls who have been turned into women prematurely. I want to be the home of those women who has been moved away from their own, own ones with lies and are still from, far from it due to extortions. I want to never forget that this is happening now, while I'm talking, close to all of us. I want to don't stop feeling that as long as it's happening to one of us, it's happening to all of us.
Thank you, Natalia. Uh, very, very powerful point. Uh, with this, we are going to end for now our part with poetry. We are going to still have at the end a few more poems, but now we are going to have a um, painting slash photography about human emotions that Nerea from Spain created for us. And the name is Expressing Emotion Awareness. So Nerea, you can share with us your artwork. Hello, I'm going to speak about another side of the art. Is the art which doesn't need uh, the words? Is the silent art of painting? I think it's very important because in our society, uh, still emotions, uh, main mm, bad emotions like feeling sad, angry, is like a taboo, and uh, I'm. I wanted to share that only taking a white paper and some colors, you can share your emotions with other people or with yourself, and the importance of that to share expressing feelings is not a taboo. And that's all. <laughs> Thank you, Nerea. So one of the things that we also wanted to show with this youth exchange is that you, every person should find something that you care about and to raise awareness about that topic. It doesn't matter, is it environment, human rights, freedom or anything else. It's important to find what you care about and to start fighting for that. And uh, thank you again, Nerea. We are going to go now to our combination of painting and poem about environmental protection by Hannah Menzenbach from Germany. The name is Earth. Thank you. Um, so the poem says, um, there used to be a planet where only nature reigned, where crystal clear blue water touches gritty sand, where flowers full of color stretch their heads to sun, where in the jungle's heart, the boldest tigers run. There used to be a planet, Earth, that was its name. Um, yeah, so the topic is obviously environmental protection and the um, upper half of the world shows biodiversity and the beauty of our planet, um, which is worth it to save and to protect. And um, the other part illustrates environmental destruction, um, often through the human, yeah, human's um, impact. Thank you, um, Hannah. You can also share the screen with us to see, to see your artwork. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you again, Hannah. Uh, the next person that was creating a photography and it is photography about the nature is Arcorado from Italy. Uh, he created a photo named Men Argue, Nature Acts. So you can see the photo now. It is also a representation of times during pandemic when people are stuck a bit more at home. And I guess the animals are using this chance to, to be free. And it's, it's a very nice photo of nature and just reminding us that we should appreciate the nature and the environment. Thank you, Corrado. After Corrado, we are going to stay still with the photography, this time it's combination of photography and poetry, and still we are talking about the nature. It's Artania from Greece that already performed before. This uh, photography slash poetry is named 
nature can make you shine. Tanya? Thank you, Shasha. I am still here, looking at the beauty of the nature, trying sound so hard to hear, with my camera everything to capture. You must be blind if you cannot see that green color which is shining in front of my eyes. If you don't respect and protect all this beauty, I'm afraid, I'm afraid this world will start to disappear. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tanya. And this is slowly bringing us to the end of the second part. So we are going to have the last uh, group work that was about photography and it's the bright and the dark side of lockdown. It's a photo series from different perspectives about the lockdown. And it was work of Irina, Hanna Gerla, Malte, Hanna Brendel, Agueda, Maria, Martin and Emma. So it was a lot of people working together and they created for us this uh, photo series. Thank you, Sasha, for introducing. Um, welcome to our photo book presentation. And I will share my screen now. So our photography project was about the bright and the dark sides of the lockdown. Um, especially the youth um, is getting forgotten in the pandemic times. Politicians are always focusing on economy, older people, especially younger people in high school or primary schools. But there are still many youth people who are students and suffer from different emotions. And how we went through our project was um, the first step we thought is it's really important to talk about your emotions and to let them spread as well. So we decided to, to talk about our feelings, even if they are positive or if they're negative. Each of us collected two different pictures where each of the emotions were shown and um, were import important for us during this lockdown. And we will start going through our photo series now. Okay, I think you have to cut here. <laughs> I'm sorry. No worries. Thank you. Thank you very much, Hannah, and the rest of the team. It's 
amazing to see how in a very short time that we gave you, you managed to cooperate and create something really, really great. Uh, we are coming close to the end of our exhibition. So only three more artworks left. The first of them is going to be uh, Igor from Romania that created a music performance about pandemic. Igor, uh, the stage is yours and let's see what you created for us. Hi everybody. Um, I created my uh, music performance inspired by our uh, music uh, workshop we had and I've been using um, things which I have at home like uh, everyday uh, uh, use things and uh, I created uh, a song out of them. I will show it to you. Uh, I had no title for this and um, uh, the idea was the pandemic uh, period, but it's also related with uh, reuse and recycle and uh, uh, things how you can uh, use your everyday life uh, objects to make art. Uh, if you can see my screen, I will play it. Yes. One, two, three, and... Uh, I hope you liked it. Thank you. Thank you, Igor. It was really amazing. And another proof that just because we are in the lockdown, that we have pandemic, it doesn't mean that we should stop doing what we love. So I hope that this uh, small video from Igor is also going to remind you not to give up, that we can stay creative and find new ways to do the things that we enjoy. Thank you again, Igor. And the next one is going to be our Lucia, Croatian that is now living in Germany. She created a combined technique. So you will see there is a bit of videos, sounds and poem. And the topic is alienation. The name of the artwork is Noises. So I'm going to give the word to Lucia that is going to present us her artwork. Thank you, Sasha. Uh, so I was thinking a lot about what to say about my project. Uh, but I just wanted to point out that everything you are about to experience was made and produced yesterday by me in the time given for it. And that I hope at some point you will feel uncomfortable. Noises come and they appear. Some are friendly, others rather deadly. All the noises, noises created by you and those created by me. Tiny noises flying like a spear from the hunter's hand. Is that hunter you or is it me? The one that on the crowded boulevard of noises screams, but in another second slowly disappears. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Lucia. Uh, very, very powerful. And you can see in this video, Lucia was using all the art 
types on which we were working uh, during this last week. So we had different sessions about photography, about video, about music, uh, about Canva and about poetry. So a lot of it is combined in this video. Thank you very much, Lucia. And this brings us to our last artwork that we are going to have during this event. And this is a poem. It's a poem about various topics and it's created in collaboration by Antonis from Greece, Clara from Spain, Isa from Spain, Migla from Lithuania, Pearl from Italy and Yota from Greece. The name is fear or in different languages, phobia, miedo, por, baime and paura. So dear people, you have the stage and let's enjoy everybody. Thank you, Sasa. Uh, let's share uh, our screen and see the poem. Can you see the poem? Yes. Okay, let's start with Isa, I think. Um, yeah. Uh, well, the title is, as uh, Sasa has said, Phobia, Miedo, Por, by Me, Paula. And it starts like this. The sun shines in the sky. I will say it's a perfect day. Despite it's February and there is no snow. I should be playing with the snow instead of sitting at my desk. But there is no snow here at the coast. There are beaches, cliffs and even mountains in the north. But who wants to see the sea when it's so cold you can even see? But then I stop and I realize. How difficult this year is. I would close my eyes and forget how hard this year is for me. But not only for me for everyone. I'm not this world SKP. We tired of keeping a distance and human touch is forbidden. I feel passive resistance, but the ways to escape are hidden. No sun is coming these days or live nature is suffering. I believe there are many ways in the new world we entering. Where humans are humans, where sun shining bright, where love is a feeling, let's all live life right. Because if we think about it, it was a world full of rush, with a clear absence of hush. Immediacy was our lifestyle, and now I think about it with a low smile. And then I remember, what if we went for a picnic? What if we had a lunch together at the restaurant I told you about? What if we went to the cinema in the summer where no roof is above us? What if we played those board games we've never played? What if we read a book beside the sea? What if we had a walk right before the sunset? What if we woke up early and see the sunrise in our rooftop? Why do you never hear me? Why do you never take me out on a date? You always answer, what would people say? And I will always respond to you. You are the one that has to take you to those things. You are the one that has to love yourself before anyone can love you. So go out, have lunch, go to the cinema, play board games, read a book, have a walk, see the sunrise, and then hug yourself tightly like you've never hugged anyone. And I ask myself. Where does all the time go? Slow and steady, this vote, this vote I must row. You wake up one day and you are in your thirties with longing and filthy dreams. Why has love a life then deal with this? I can only hope to have some luck and riches before I hit the ground because the world is hard, sad, and quite frankly, I want another round. And that's why... All people have fears. Many of them drive us to have tears, failure, choke, rejection, all of them in our brain's detection. And then in our mind comes the word quit. But may I ask you, is it worth it? Just let it fly and don't ask yourself why. Everything in life is a lesson. You learn from them and you become a better person. So we are done. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you very much. It's a very nice ending to our whole event and something that is hopefully give us optimism for the future. I really believe that we can make the change. I want first to give a big applause for all of our participants that were working hard and creating art. Thank you very much. It wouldn't be able to, we wouldn't be able to have this without you. And I also want to say thank you to everybody who clicked on this video, who were participating by watching the creations and who stayed until the end with us. Uh, if there is one message that we would like to send to you at the end is just to, as I said before, to find something that you care about and to make a change. Each of us can make a change in our society. We just need to start. Thank you, everybody. Uh, hope you enjoyed and hope we'll be seeing each other on some of our future exhibitions.